Okay, so I thought I'd do a really short video here and I'm going to be showing you me refurbishing this Nokia N-Gage QD that I bought on eBay. And if you watch my pickup video, you'll have seen that I bought this for £6 delivered and it was sold as faulty. The only fault with it was that the uh, person had forgotten the, the unlock code so they couldn't actually use the phone. It would get to a point where it would just ask for the, the code and then you couldn't go any further so you couldn't really use it. But luckily for me, all it was was a default code, so it's 12345 entered that in, it works fine. But uh, yeah, it's in pretty poor condition. It's missing parts off the, the housing here, so you're missing the, the cover at the top. There's a cover at the bottom there, and there's meant to be a rubber band that goes all the way around the, the outside of the phone. It's also missing a part here, but what I'm going to do is fit a completely new case to that. So that's the Nokia N-Gage QD. That's, just to give you a comparison, that's the original uh, Nokia handheld there. A bit of a size difference, but that one's actually easier to play games on. This one's just more compact, but this is the one I'm going to be working on today. So I've already ordered a replacement uh, housing for it. This came from Vietnam, Ho Chi Minh City, I think. And I'll just pop that open. This is it here. I've not opened it up yet. It's got the the tools you need to to remove the old housing and fit the new one. So it shouldn't be too difficult. I've also got a couple other bits here. I've got the kind of we cleaner there for, for cleaning the screen and a, a cloth as well. So I'll get to opening this up and basically it should be pretty straightforward. Just pop the battery out. There's a battery cover there. And it's all kind of quite modular so it should all just uh, clip together. And I think there's a, about five or six screws that hold the, the rest of the case in part. So um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll start taking this apart. Okay, so that's the main parts of the phone disassembled now, and it wasn't too difficult. As I said, it was just uh, a few screws on the, the top section of the phone here, and this is the back plate of the, the housing. Kind of difficult to do this without other parts falling out, but as you can see, there's um, I'll put this down for now actually. There's a few components kind of embedded into the the casing here. So you've got the uh, headphone jack and the power jack. You've also got the the motor there uh, with the wee weight on the end of it so you've got the vibration feature of the phone so I need to remove those but they're all, they are they just connect onto the, the motherboard with these kind of um, spring contacts so you, there's no wires or anything it just uh, touches onto the, the motherboard and that's how it contacts with it so that's not too difficult so next thing I'll do um, is remove this from the packaging and I'll get the uh, rear section of the phone reattached to this here before it all falls apart. This here, this is the, the main section, the motherboard, and uh, it's all kind of sandwiched together, as you can see, with these uh, large screws holding it together. But yeah, that'll be the next part. I need to remove this from the, the packaging and get the, the back plate fitted back on. So I thought I'd just show you me unpackaging the, the replacement housing here as well. Um, I don't think it's an official one, I'm pretty sure it's not anyway, uh, but it's got the Nokia N-Gage logo on the back there, it's also got it up on the front, and you get the replacement buttons as well, so I'll just pop this open, and this is the, the full housing, this isn't just like a, a face plate, it's the, the full thing, and that's it there. So I'll just leave that partially on for now. But it's got the Nokia logo and everything on it. So it all looks official. It's, it feels really good quality, so I don't know if this is maybe just leftover stock from the Nokia factory or if it is uh, just genuinely uh, kind of counterfeit third party stuff, but it looks really good quality and it'll do me fine. You can see the, the top there, you've got the the wee hatch that covers the, the power and the audio jack. So yeah, I'll get back to removing the or putting the, the back cover onto the, the rest of the phone. Okay, so that's the back plate back on now and it wasn't too difficult. It was a wee bit tricky getting some of the, the components out of here. So you had the likes of the, the speaker and um, what else was there? There was a, the motor in there was quite difficult to get out but I used this tool that I got with the replacement housing and it's just a 
I can, I can look too for prying out uh, plastic parts, so that was pretty good. I also used the this screwdriver that came with it, it's a really small Torx uh, screwdriver. And it was just six screws that were uh, holding this back plate on the, the original uh, console. So that's that back on. It's good now, I've got the uh, the rubber housing section that goes around the outside of the phone in there. So what I'll need to do now is just get the, the front section on and it should be looking like new. I'll give the, the screen a bit of a clean first as well, but yeah, that's next. So that's everything back together again now and it's looking really good, nice and shiny, looks like a brand new console, so I'm happy with that. It took a wee bit longer to get this front faceplate back on, um, it didn't fit quite as well as it should have done, but I managed to get it on in the end. So now I've got the, the flap covering the, the headphone jack and the uh, power jack. Same with the, the bottom here, you can see, the cartridge bay cover, and it's got the Nokia N-Gage logo on the back now, and the same on the front and the top there as well, so uh, yeah, you can play some games and yeah, another console to add to the collection, or the Engage collection, so that'll go along nicely with the uh, original console here, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you again soon.